good morning. Thank you for joining me. And this is the bit I would normally say brand image, customer stuff. But this one's going direct to my YouTube channel. And I want you to understand how the two mix. So this is for the subscribers and the people listening. I talk massively about the five key points of personal development, the five key points of business. I talk about creating your great dream and the riffy. Five key points, who are you, what are you, what do you do, who do you do it for, and what your legacy is. And I had an interesting conversation with a business owner this morning. And they were like, and we follow your videos, we understand. But there's a lot of mixing, you know, business, customers, image, brand, personal development, social development. You know, what are you? What do you do? And I said, well... This is the five key points, so I'm going to share it with you. Who am I? Well, I kind of know that I'm a larger than life human being. I was put on this planet to do something. So that's who I am. What am I? Well, I'm a teacher. I like sharing. I'm a visionary. I come up with new ideas. I come up with solutions to problems. What do I do? So who am I? What am I? What do I do? I kind of teach people, give people ideas teacher to my core, share ideas, take from there, take from there, bring from there, a visionary, I suppose, in some respects. And who do I do it for? I do it for anybody, because I'm a teacher. My legacy, well, the financial, the wealth, the abundance, the toys, as I call them, you know, the cars, the bikes, the paintwork, the art, the, everything I've got, will go down to another generation. But it's not just that legacy. It's have I made an impact on somebody else's life? Now, whether that be the businesses I work with, whether that be the people I mentor, whether that be the sports athletes I've managed, will my legacy, my training, my guidance, my ethos live on? Fairly fundamental, to be fair, of who are you, what are you, what do you do, who do you do it for, and your legacy. Your legacy isn't just financial, leaving it. And if you know me, I haven't got any children. I've got little God people and whatever. But I need you to understand, we've all done well. We all are born with 24 hours in the day. It's what you do with those 24 hours. Now, this is where the conversation with the business owner this morning, and he said, and I love following you. I love reading you know, your LinkedIn, your Facebook, all the rest of it. He said, but I struggle. I struggle to do what you do. And I said, well, take that word out of it. Look at your timeline in the morning. And in NLP, I've got to say thank you for John Cassidy for teaching me, John Cassidy Rice, for teaching me the NLP. It was something I knew, but obviously I needed guidance. And you have guides in your life. And, you know, for a while, John was mine. It's about understanding where you're going, the timeline, emotionally go there. And it was something that John picked up on all them many years ago. As an athlete, as a sportsman, I used to understand the feeling of winning the ethos of winning, the smell of winning, the taste of winning, the emotion of winning. And then he said, use that, use the sport for the business. Understand where you're going, understand your timeline, understand your development, get up with the great dream, the giving, the relating, the exercising, the appreciating, the trying new things. He said, and that's what you've got to do in business, but you've also got to understand where you're going. And this is why this video is just for my YouTube people. Because the path is always lit. But it is an emotional path. But if you don't see it, feel it, taste it, touch it, and emotionally bond with it, you can't create those images, those subconscious or conscious images, the cognitive stuff of how it's going to feel. And this is where I like to use little analogies, and you know I do. And it's about running a race, a hurdles race, for argument's sake. You know what the finish line feels like. You go forward and you finish it, and then you work on how many hurdles you've got to come back in this race. You know how high they are, you know how wide they are. And then you practice to get over one. And then you practice to get over another one. You work your stride out. But you can't do it at race pace straight away. But you've got to understand that you can do it. Emotionally see yourself clearing them, and see yourself doing this, and in the same in business. So, yes, I'm a, an accomplished athlete. Don't look at me now, but the different sports I've done, I have won quite a lot. Various sports. And business is good. I've got abundance. I've got health, wealth. I've got well-being. 
Every morning I get up with the same intention, 15 minutes of meditation, looking at the great dream, looking at the riffy, am I ready and right for the day ahead? Have I got the right image in my head of how today's going to be, knowing that we need to be 1% better? Have I got a focus, a positive mental focus? Am I ready to go and execute the day, enjoy the day, and then evaluate the day? So that's the riffy. And you can add whatever you want to add to it. But what I'm trying to get you to understand, even in business, it's the law of attraction. It's how you feel. And I've spoken with lots of business owners. And they don't understand. They don't emotionally know. They've got no feeling of an end goal. So it's a bit funny, and we, everybody talks about finances. So let's just talk about finances. Believe that you've got an extra £50 or £100 or whatever you want to have, just for today. How's that going to make you feel? You find a £50 note on the street. How are you going to feel? How is that going to look? What are you going to go and do differently? You're going to go and have a coffee. You're going to go and spend it. You're going to have a bit of fun with it. And it's about creating that emotion about that £50 note, for argument's sake. But obviously we can exaggerate the scale, we can do whatever. But what I'm trying to get you to do is understand what that feeling, that emotion, that journey, that fun is going to feel like, look like, smell like, taste like. So if you're like any of my female friends, 50 quid's only going to buy you one shoe. It's not going to buy you a pair. If you're 50 quid and you're going shooting like I do, country gent, it might buy you a shirt. But you're going to go, right, I've got an extra 50 quid. What shirt am I having? I'm going to have a new tweed shirt. I'm going to have a new tweed tie. Get ready for the uh, for the competition season. You know, it might well be I can go and put food on the table. Emotionally feel that journey. Every step of that journey, you need to understand it. It's the law of attraction. You put out, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to enjoy this. The abundance, the health, the wealth, the well-being. Personally. And do the same as a businessman. Put your suit on. Done it so many times with my clients. Dress up. Look in the mirror. What does it feel like in five years' time, ten years' time, three years' time? What does it actually feel like to be abundant, to have a nice house, to have a nice car, to be abundantly wealthy? Not just financially, but abundance. Have good times, have good fun, have good things. Enjoy that journey, emotionally, spiritually, you know, physically. Understand it, breathe it, talk it. And when you've got it, Put it in your head and enjoy that emotion. Get up every morning with the end goal in mind. But you won't ever make the end goal because you're still going to be developing and it gets bigger and it gets bigger and it gets bigger. But in business, you need to understand this journey. Where am I going to be in three years? And then you bring a team together and you understand. Now, this is where it comes back to my little fun analogies. If the end goal is to be in Scotland, I need to kind of understand the journey. Mm, going to do it on a push bike? Possibly not. Do it on a motorbike? Nah, possibly not. Do it in a car? Yeah, that's a better option. How much fuel am I going to need? Have a quick working out? Right, okay. But if I've got Scotland as the end goal, I can work my way back. Same as we did with the running. Work your way back. How many hurdles have I got to jump? How many paces do I need each jump? But I'm emotionally feeling the end goal. I know what the end of the race feels like. Looks like, sounds like, tastes like. But it's not going to be the end of that race. It could be the end of another race. It could be the end of a championship. But once I've emotionally felt it and I've engaged with it and I've had it as a vision, I can do more. And it's the same with your business. Right, we're going to make £50. We're going to make £100. I'm going to take two staff on. I'm going to take staff on. And you then end up starting to change and you look forward and then you look at what you're going to enjoy on this journey and then come back and go, right, how do I do it? Because most of your mind's gone working. The universe is giving it to you. You feel good, good things happen. That's the law of attraction. I believe in that. So this is slightly a different one, but we're going to go on and do a little bit more of a series on the use of health and well-being, the timeline, the NLP, the psychology, but also the law of attraction and understanding why it's making me go in Pacific ways. I go with the flow and I enjoy my life and I enjoy the abundance of my life, the health, the wealth, the well-being, and making time and giving time for the good things in life. But I've seen the good things, I've enjoyed the good things, I've felt the good things, tasted the good things before they've even happened, and then it's like the next logical step. So this is just for you on my YouTube subscribers. I'll talk to you soon. Take care, have a good day.